ourselves into our opening game. OG versus EG. Game number one. Okay, that's for 9-0-17 is last match is tied. Not too shabby. Top lane, don't miss it. Don't worry. Wouldn't wouldn't dream of it. Another virus right coming in a second. First blood. No, he hasn't got the damage. It's S4 and Crit who get the kill. They will get the revenge one on Jerex, but Crit with another stun. That, that, that's a dead Grimstroke. One or two more right clicks. He's got the early point in the fiery souls for the attack speed, and he finds the double kill on Crit's Lena. Thousand gold on Lena. Skill that Ravage, he can. And just rotate in. Going for that early slide of fist. Doesn't have any points in the Searing Chains, but level 4 slide of fist does a lot of damage. Jerek's in some trouble as he gets stunned up. The cooldown follow-up is there, and this should be a kill, but if OG can cut it just to one loss, shows up. Three points in Inkswell. You may crack an office stun from the Burrow Strike, but if the Inkswell hits you after that, you could be in trouble. And he's leveled up the Epicenter, so I believe they are looking for a kill up here. Will they go for this Burrow Strike? He's still saving a point for Ravage. There it is, Phantom. I didn't get... Oh, oh they didn't get keep the silence on. Uh, they will still get the kill. All right. Yeah. He nice used Inkswell on the creep. Yep. That damage from the... Coming out from the duo. More than enough to get the kill here. Now they're rotating in mid. Thompson has to be a little bit careful here. Does have that four points in slider fist with the fire remnants to get out of there. It's going to be another cooldown from Arteezy. He's looking for no tail. Definitely looking like a dead Chen here. Doesn't have level six. No hand of God, but the Sand King shows up from the side. Has got the epicenter fall, but Burrow Strike. He defensively Astral to keep himself alive. Fly going to take all of that damage here. As Seb comes back looking for the OD. He's going to die, but he in the process gets the kill for Jerax. Great bit of play coming out from OG, who turn around a bit of over-aggression here. No searing chains, level 7 still. Rotations coming in, a CS4, Topson. He's hit level 8 now, still not going for the searing chains, wants to prioritize the more defensive build. So he's going to remnant on forward, has got the Inkswell on now, this is not looking good for Fly. The cooldown being used as well, Topson, Slider Fist is there with a the Burrow Strike follow-up, they make it S4 as well. He's been silenced up now as well, has got the Ravage, if he can get rid of the silence, he's not going to get a chance to go for it though. Not sure it would have mattered too much as well, as Arteezy wasn't really in fighting shape there. Used up all of his mana with the cooldown, and oh gee. Average S4 is not having a good time. 0, 3, and 1 at this point. OD, can he blink out? Ah, Sandstorm is gonna cancel it. But at the same time, EG. Talk about OG reading EG's movements. It goes both ways. They dire scan, they see this movement coming. Will they try and bait and take this fight? They need the Tide. The Ravage is coming. It's not quite here in time, perhaps. Arteez is going to be careful. He's going to go down. He does not have a BKB yet. Tide's rotated in from the side, but they're going to throw the Ravage. Hit several. They kill off No-Tail. He instantly buys back to come back into this fight. No-Tail will be TPing back in as Topson in the front lines with that Flame Guard. He's just so damn tanky, and the Slider Fist Bam does so much damage at this stage of the game. They're going to look for a fourth kill here. They want S4, and there's just nothing EG can do to win this one. Another Burrow Strike from Seb, and they're going to finish off S4 as and well. Sumail bails them. He just TP stopped to pick up uh, at least the Bounty Runes, because this fight didn't this? go well. He's in Already used though. the Blink Dagger and Astral. He's dead. Yeah. He may have gotten a Bounty Rune. I mean, he's getting some tips. OG, 4k gold lead. They just completely team wiped EG. They killed every single hero in the game. Bottom lane. They will lose Jerex. He gets caught left behind, but ultimately that is a support. Mr. Smokebreaker himself. Is insanely good. BKB is up on Alchemist. They, they want to make something happen. Yeah, right they now. blink in with the stun, the bar strike. They want to burst down fly here. It is just an Ogre Magi, but on the back lines, they're going to throw out a Ravage here, trying to turn this one around here. But Topson was inside the Astral, so he doesn't get hit by this. Ogre going to buy back, going to try to take this fight, but Topson's just charging it forward. He remnants in aggressively, using the slide of fist, constantly just nuking everyone Seb's down. Go Epi in. Center with the blink in as well. Who's he going for? He splits the targets. Anna with the BKB takes out the Lena, changes targets. Going to be a dieback from Fly's Ogre. He goes down, and Seb's not done with S4. That's four. Four dead. Seb gets tipped by his teammate as OG roll over EG. Four heroes dead. That's actually five dead because Ogre yep. brought back and died instantly. And OG is not going to stop. They're going to might even threaten the high ground. Arteezy does not have a cooldown. Flat Cannon is on the cooldown as well, but they're pinging Roche. It was this race to BKB. Anna getting his BKB before Arteezy's Gyrocopter just makes it so hard for e Arteezy and EG to take these fights. Yeah, he understands that he does not need a Blink Dagger this early on. BKB is so much more valuable because they don't have anything that goes through the BKB at the moment. And the amount of heal that they have with the Chen's Aura, Chemical Rage, the extra 20% increased healing plus a Hand of God, also Vlad's and Chen. Yep, EG can't take this fight. 
They have all the team fight items. EG have rotated in, but the Al Alk has already helped secure them an Aegis. Topson picking that one up as they are looking to just finish off S4 and the rest of EG, I think, realizing this is not a fight they want to take. And the problem is, it's a 17,000 network lead for them. <laughs> At 21 minutes, too. OG are playing such good Dota right now. Now, you can quote me on this one. The game is over when you have 1,000 gold lead per minute. Yeah. Well, they're not there yet. They, they have a bit more to go. As they are looking to just break onto the high ground. And there's just so little you can do. S4 does have Ravage back up. He's going to have to try and find some way into this fight to go for good Ravage. It's going to be just walking on in. He doesn't have a Blink Dagger or anything. And OG just going to stand here and hit some buildings. The Slide of Fist spam is just zoning them away. Right. Arteezy may have a BKB, but he's already half health. He doesn't want to fight. With the constant chip damage coming out from Slide of Fist, from the Stroke of Fate, from the Grimstock, those long-range AoE nukes, just make it so difficult for EG to take a fight for as well. A tier 1 and a tier 2. Arteezy playing a bit greedy, going for another creep wave. He may just have to BKB TP out. He gets caught by an unstable concoction. Burrow Strike follow up and Arteezy is done for. Quick and easy kill. Crit just TPs out, leaving Arteezy to die, as he should have. There was no saving his life once he gets caught by that unstable concoction. To figure out where that 1% is. It is looking mighty difficult. They're going out and he can't get the BKB off in time. He's getting chained, so this is the 1%. They take out the Alchemist. They start the fight off with a great kill on Alka. They are going to repel OG here. Aegis expires as well. EG have picked their timing perfectly as the BKB Gyrocopter goes charging in. They're going to take out the Sand King of Seb as well. And that's the turn EG were looking for. That's what the high ground defense. from S4. The timing Woo! on that ulti was absolutely perfect. Tree, while well smoke, not what you, you want to do, maybe. Ember Spirit just scouting things out with her cane rune and Ags. <laughs> oh, that's so cheeky. And now Topson, he's maybe going to look to pick off Fly here. They throw him with the Blink Ravage. Can they actually bring down the Ember Spirit? He's getting bursted here with the Chant Hills. Is it going to be enough? They take out Topson. Instantly buys back. But Arteezy's already in with the Flat Cannon and the BKB. He's going to delete the Sand King. Buy back from OG. They want to take this fight. And with Anna's BKB on Alchemist, they should be able to have this one. Anna, can he stun off Arteezy? He jukes in the trees. Finds a new target. Can, uh, uh, can he blink out of this one? He gets Burrow Strike. The timing from Seb is perfect. As OG, they had to commit a couple of buybacks, but they do come out on top. And with Ravage down, with BKB Gyro down, I imagine they feel like they can actually break the high ground here. Look at Ember Spirit. He's just gone falling in. Seb Bolt follows up. Two man Burrow Strike. Arteezy's got no BKB to defend himself. Two male. He's bought back. He uses defensive Astral, but I don't imagine Arteezy's got much of an escape. As soon as he comes out, he's popped like a pinata. Instantly has to buy back, but Anna. Gyro should be. Back off. I mean, Alchemist should be careful. He has a. He knows that he has a buyback. Yeah. As remnants in the fight can easily come back into a fight. EG. Yeah, are they coming? Are they going to go for a steal? S4 Mayfield has to. He doesn't have Ravage, but he's too late. The second he sees the Roche die and he's not ready to steal it. Fire Strike. He just forces out. He's trying to bait some spells here. Tops and falls it up as well with the Slide of Fist. Just trying to. See what they can force out here. But back in the mid lane, Alchemist, he's gone in with a big blink BKB. He's going on crit here. The right clicks with the BKB is going to be enough. And now Arteezy in trouble. He's been abyssal bladed up. He's locked in place. Where's the Bash? Just says Anna. He doesn't quite find it. The Ravage is there. And Anna, he's got no buyback. He's going to be so careful not to go down here. But he's got so much health regen from the chemical raid. Sumail's wailing away on him. The right clicks is the Eclipse going to be enough. He doesn't have cheese. the damage. The cheese is there. And now Sumail getting bashed up. Stuns followed up. And GG. EG. Drop game one of this two game series. Oh gee, they Dumb played it. so well after the laning stage, just the setting up.